Well, hello, welcome to another little video I promised a while ago. I have so many little clips added in over the last two, three weeks. I have to use them up, otherwise you will get too much. I will make a video. Maybe it becomes a bit of a long one, it's basically of my life for the last three weeks. Spring is really coming, you will see a few signs of spring. Well, I had a little visitor in the house, a little chipmunk. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Well, we had the storm, supposed to have a storm starting the 14th of March. I cancelled my dental appointment because of it and then it turned out to be very stormy outside the winds were incredible but not one little bit of precipitation no snow big warnings about torrential waves will battering the coast and everybody who has property on the coast was worried about those high waves and those waves are coming through it has been rough all morning some of them are up to a meter two meters high maybe and that's for a coastal region quite something. Down there you see it battering the the rocks. Some of those rocks will break it. But oh my god, this is quite quite something. Nothing happened on the 14th. It started the wind started late at night. When I woke up on the 14th in the morning. I mean, it started on 13, the 13th, when I woke up on 14th, I could have gone to the dentist, no problem. The storm started later that evening. As you can see, now snow is coming down. And the wind is still quite agitated. Not quite as strong as it seemed to have been before. But this is gonna stay like another day or two. Well, I have everything in the house I need. The 15th of March, we only got about one foot of snow. Looks like the storm is over, but what we have, because it's warm temperatures, it is snow like it falls in Europe. It stays on the trees. It's very, very, very Christmassy. <laughs> to show you a real, <laughs> real Christmassy look of thick, heavy snow. That's very European snow again, God damn it. Reminds me when I was a kid. Yeah, that's nice. That was it, just getting excited about snow. This is already in spring now. Well, as you were able to see that uh, it was not as bad. We had done later on on the 15th, we got a one foot of snow. It seemed to be coldly over, but then we had a real nice, nice snowfall like back home when I was a kid. That's how the winter looked where I grew up. Temperature were never that, that cold to have this blowing snow. Well, I'm not sure if it was my last video, but I did uh, one little rose tour, a trip with 24 roses, two dozen of roses and handing out some roses, red rose each, to the women and their employees who, who impacted me last year. It was from the bank, the two women in the bank, one at the post office, my, my uh, the pharmacy, the women, girls from the pharmacy, my veterinarian especially, because you know, Anke, my dog passed and they helped me tremendously. Well, and uh, I took a tour of video and then one my dentist and took a picture of the roses I gave to her and her employees in her Facebook account and thanked me for it, which I thought was very nice. Well, I must say, I remember today is the 16, two days ago was St. Valentine's. I did my <laughs> rose parade with uh, give, driving around, giving to all the people I like who knew were nice to me a rose and uh, one of them was to my dentist and all her employees and she sent me a picture of the roses I gave and a thank you and they have been happy and how happy they were to receive this and thank you Monsieur Walter who said belle attention that was nice of them 
Well, see, you be nice, people nice to you. That's and on February the 27th, we had Telus coming back here to do some work and to, to lay out my new optic cable for, for internet. So apparently my internet should go up to a speed woof. <laughs> but it's uh, very warm temperatures. So I do hope, oh, I do hope there will be no problem with him leaving with the ice, but they really, Good evening. <laughs> and a few days after, well, just around, uh, well, in February, at the end of February, something happened. I'm sitting here in the evening playing uh, games with, with the, my fellows from the internet, and uh, the light changed. Everything got r r reddish pink. Everything got pink. The whole inside light. So I look outside, and outside it was pink, pink, pink snow, pink thing. So I got my camera, I made a mistake. I called Marielle first, my ex, to tell her, if it, is it pink at your place too? And she was all flabbergasted, yes, yes, yes. So I took my camera, went outside, it was almost gone. You can still see a pink, a pink sort of a, a saturation on the snow at times. The sky, I guess it was just a momentary phenomena of, of evening and a certain, the sun hitting something. It was incredible. I'm so sorry I missed it. Sorry, guys. I wish I would have shown, been able to show that to you. But nature does some really funny things, doesn't it? Ask Marielle if it's at her place the same. It's some kind of evening light that it's not there anymore. It was really pink. Everything was reddish. The inside light got totally reddish. But I see up there we have pink clouds and blue sky. And here it is pinkish, the cloud too. Must be the sundown. The whole horizon is sort of pinkish. Well, it is gone now. Too bad I didn't react faster. Well, then we up to March the 2nd. I remember going to town, washing my clothes. I was taking my cameras with me, all excited. I took uh, going to the car, loading the car. And when I came back home, I realized I didn't take one video. That's it. Completely forgot. Well, you know, in my age, I guess stuff happens. <laughs> well, <laughs> I completely forgot to take video. I just see the camera. I said, oh, damn it. I was supposed to show you how I do <laughs> my laundry. Well, I do my laundry like any other person. I bring it to the laundromat. I put in the laundry. I put soap in. I put money in. I come back after half an hour. Put in the dryer. Put money in. And then I come back after another half an hour. All my shopping is done by this time. All the little things I want to buy are done. I fold my clothes drive home and then I arrive here and I talk to you when it's done. Well, on March the 5th, it was very nice and warm. I think it was a day or two days after my last Telus visit that I decided to do another barbecue, nothing fancy. I took a, a little bit of video of it. I show later on my plate with the asparagus and it was just, I'm, I used this barbecue this winter a lot, my God, more than I ever did. I always like barbecues in the winter, but this year has been especially a barbecue-filled winter for me. And guess what time it is today, what time? It is barbecue time again. Yep, I decided to make a nice little barbecue. I must, well... Oh, I'm just so I thought I showed you the chicken I put on but actually I showed you only my face Well, look at this halfway it cut through the color of the salt water Outside looks green and then inside blau one something has to be a wind That makes a turn I have no idea what makes this the, the two different colors on the water that I don't know. It's windy so it doesn't get full heat. Ooh, looks like it got full heat.
I should show you guys how well I'm eating. Ah, this is just delicious. Looking forward to it. I'm, of course, you know, I'm not eating or allow myself too much carbohydrates. So this is it. But yum, 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 yum. Well, and that brings us to March the 13th. For some reason, I woke up fully loaded with energy. And uh, since I have diabetes, there are days when I really seem to have no energy at all. But uh, I was full of, full of spit and fire. So I decided I will go to town, do the washing of clothes. This time I brought my camera <laughs> and I didn't forget. I had to do some shopping to do. I went to, to go to, well, there was uh, some letter that had to be mailed, but I had to go to the city hall here to verify my being alive for the, my Swiss pension. All those things, I, I did it all in one door. I went to the other town where I mailed my letter, did, <clears throat> did some house check on a friend's house. I did uh, went to visit Marielle to bring her a little bit of wine because we knew a, a bad storm is coming. And so when she is closed in for two, three days, she likes to have a bottle or two at home. And I, I understand it's nice <laughs> when you're not snowed in and you have a choice of having a wine or not. So uh, it was just a busy day and I'll show you some of this. I put it all together. Well, today is the 13th of March and uh, I had the big day planned for today and it will be a big day but more, many of my plans are cancelled. A big storm is coming. We expect quite some snow starting this afternoon. We're supposed to have uh, more than 24 hours, one to two centimeters per hour. So, we're here at the laundromat. And I'm putting in the parking meter stuff. My, my soap. My laundry. And up we go. Oh, looks like we're all alone. That's great. Yeah. Here we go. I will use one of those short. That's the one. I thought I had more laundry, but turns out I remember watching last week and then. That's it. Now I go and do my other chores in town. Well, it is done. I was lucky. The lady did all that was necessary in between her job, what she is doing right now, a meeting. She came out just for me to fill out the forms so I can send this away today which is brilliant, just bloody brilliant. Oh. Time to do the dryer.
machine. Always a bit difficult. Now we go and go shopping for chicken legs and food. Well, I just came from IGA. I got my chickens and thank God I went there. They had the one pound of asparagus green ones for about 249, I think the pound. But it was the big ones, the thick ones. Love them thick ones. So I bought six, at least five for me. I will ask Marielle if she wants one. Well, that was lucky, a lucky break. Today I got everything done that needed to be done. Let's see, the ice village is gone. Of course it's gone, it has been warm for how many days? So winter officially in my eyes is over with just about. You will see and, and some of the video I have, I saw the first chipmunk came in, tried to get into my house. Those little buggers find every little hole. Well, the postman is here, the postman is here. Bonjour, monsieur. m'a surpris c'est tout, tout bon, bon. parfait merci well and uh, this done well i just sent my postcard that is good that is done now because we have a, a storm coming i think it'd be a good idea if i check if the house from Roche, you never know. You never know when I have the next chance to get there. Well, I'm here now at the house from Agat. Going in. Yep. Putting the alarm. And it worked. Thank God. I'm always afraid I will forget the numbers and the bloody thing will go off like crazy. And I will... Nothing in the mail. In garage. Okay. And that's it. And off we go to go shopping. Here we go. In pink. There we go. Here's our favorite wine. Well, I need eggs. Want more eggs with all the snowfall coming? Now 
Peut-être que je vais être fameux, c'est vrai tout. Probablement non, mais toutes les millions qui vont m'en servir. Ok. Ah. I've just finished at Marielle's. We had a very, very lovely, well, almost three hours. We talked two hours, two and a half hours. That was fun. Had a nice bottle of wine together. Yeah, that was very, very nice social moment. I had a great day. I had so much energy today. I did so many things, important things. They were in my mind, like this letter to Switzerland. Uh, it's much more important than you think. If, if I don't, if it doesn't get delivered at the right on time, my pension from Switzerland will be interrupted, and that is always. Well, that would be not so fun. Well, and with this, I guess we are on the end of our little journey today. Those were my last three, four weeks. Exciting, isn't it? Oh, my life, you cannot just woof. <laughs> All the adventures of an old retired person. Have a good one, till we see each other again, till my next one. Bye.